Hey everybody, Beth here with the Sensible Nutrition Program. And today I wanna to visit with you about sweet potatoes, but we've been talking about those all month. So specifically today, I wanna to visit with you a little bit about the story and safety of sweet potatoes. So when it comes to storing those sweet potatoes, we wanna keep them in a cool, dry location. But when I say cool and dry, I'm not saying like toss them in your refrigerator and life is good to go. No, I'm talking more specifically about maybe storing them in a basement that's cool and dry, perhaps your garage, or if you're like me, I have a small basket that I toss all my potatoes in and I keep them in underneath um, a cupboard. What's great about this is raw sweet potatoes can keep really well for around two weeks, which is super handy. Some other tips though, when you're storing them in that cool dry location, I recommend not putting them next to certain fruits and vegetables because they'll ripen a lot quicker. Similar to like your apples, onions, bananas, make sure that you store them separately if you're not wanting them to ripen too quickly. Another tip includes, uh, you can put sweet potatoes in a brown paper bag that most grocery stores carry and that helps keep the freshness of those sweet potatoes much longer. Also something to keep in mind is if you're using maybe canned sweet potatoes potatoes that you want to check the date on that can and make sure that they're good to go. In the event that your raw sweet potatoes though do start to sprout, uh, it's okay to go ahead and cook those. Uh, maybe dice them up, cutting out the portions that are not good and those sprouts. And then you can go ahead and freeze them. Go ahead and freezing sweet potatoes is a great way to prolong the use of them until you're ready to use them, especially with these winter months ahead of us and the holidays just around the corner. Uh, some safety tips for you guys though include making sure with those raw sweet potatoes that we go ahead and that we rinse and scrub them. Um, when I say scrub, just using a regular old uh, fruit vegetable brush that uh, you can get from our CMP classes or you can find at your uh, local grocery store and you just want to rinse them off with water and scrubbing the brush but being careful not to use soap or other detergents of the sort to just go ahead and scrubbing them real good and then if you want to take an extra step to get rid of bacteria go ahead and pat them dry using either a paper towel or a clean cloth and then taking a look after at those sweet potatoes after they're clean and go ahead and cut away any imperfections bruising things that just don't look normal to you that perhaps the potato should have some other safety tips when it comes to getting ready for those potatoes is there's a variety of ways to cook sweet potatoes, which I think is super awesome. Just talked about in our video last week, you can get sweet potatoes in the raw form, which we talked about to store, canned, and then as well as the frozen variety. Uh, the frozen variety, obviously because they're frozen, will be kept in your freezer. Um, all three different varieties though are all different ways that you can cook um, and prepare those for your family, whatever your preference might be. So if you want to go ahead and bake those sweet potatoes, you can preheat your oven um, and then take your sweet potato and pierce it with a fork and can kind of stab it if you will. And then um, coat it with a little bit of oil and uh, put it on a baking sheet and then toss it in the oven until they're tender. Um, one of the things though I've learned is you don't don't wrap sweet potatoes up in tin foil because then it doesn't allow those natural sugars of the sweet potato to caramelize and give you that awesome yummy flavor. Then when it comes to maybe a boiling sweet potatoes, go ahead and you know rinse, wash, dry, and then as you're chopping up the sweet potatoes into smaller pieces, you toss them into boiling water and then you just keep them at a simmer with the lid on the pot until they start to get soft and mushy. And then you can, um, you drain the water and then you can have like mashed sweet potatoes if that's something that you want. And then grilling or broiling sweet potatoes is also an option or using an electric skillet if need be, just making sure that you um, get them into a temperature where they can become soft, such as 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope that these storage and safety tips have been helpful or at the very least a good reminder with the holidays here upon us and the winter months where sweet potatoes are just a little bit more prevalent um, and our use of them. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them here on our Facebook video or you can shoot us an email which can be found on our Sensible Nutrition website, uwyocnp.org. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon. Bye.